Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to try and do this. It has been forever, and this has been requested by multiple people um, for a long minute now. So I figured, yeah, it has been it has been a while. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna definitely treat this as if it were some sort of like marathon, and just not get burnt out and do these when the mood is right, that kind of thing. So this is gonna be a horror movie collection overview on what all, all I have on Blu-ray and 4K and after this if I'm not completely spent <laughs> just wiped out by doing this kind of stuff I'll show you guys what I have left on DVD as well um, so anyway uh, with this video I'm just gonna go through what I have uh, in the numbers section so as always thanks for stopping by I appreciate your time uh, here we go so first up is one that I had seen for the very first time, thanks to Arrow. I never had this one on DVD. I don't remember if it even had a DVD release. And that's for uh, .com for Murder. Yeah, that, that, that one was the first for me. And I thought it was alright. Not bad. So, pretty cool. This one was OK uh, Pound Horror. Um, I guess these are in sort of the right order. I'm not sure, but... Some of these titles aren't going to be completely incorrect as far as the order wise, but whatever. Pound Horror, it was okay. Um, I've, had, I've only watched this once. Um, I think that was like a pre order at the time. I've had that for a few years now. Uh, 0, 0.0 megahertz. Um, seen this only once as well and thought this one was, again, okay. It's another one of those uh, Shutter originals. Got a few of those. Some of them make it to Blu-ray, some of them DVD only, that kind of thing, but the shutter, you never know. 100 uh, Bloody Acres, this was a lot of fun, I enjoyed this one. Comedy for this one just kind of hit me right, so yeah, dug that. Uh, I like this one. Um, I can sort of forgive the weak CGI on this one, um, but it, it had its freaky moments. I liked 100 Feet. Uh, definitely had freaky, and well, not so much freaky, I'd say tense. I guess that's the good word for it. Some very tense, haunting uh, sort of moments with this movie. So yeah, I'm a fan of 100 Feet. So for me, that's I gotta have that on the shelf for sure. All right, here's one from the Asylum, uh, 100 uh, Ghost Street. This one was okay. There's a few that the Asylums put out that I thought were pretty entertaining, and uh, yeah, this is one of them that I dug. So that's, I had kept that. All right, uh, 1031, not bad. More horror, end of, end of that little horror anthology. 1031 part two, um, pretty cool. I dug this one as well. I've yet to see that third one though. I've had that on the shelf for quite some time. And you have to forgive me guys, I'm on a step stool here. I'm trying not to get off balance, but. All right, so yeah, 1031 part three. I've yet to watch this, I need to check it out. Um, Next is 10 uh, Cloverfield Lane. Actually, I probably should uh, put this movie next to Cloverfield. I don't know why I put it up here in the, I guess just because of numbers, the title. But uh, next time I go to uh, shifting my movies around, I'll, I'll take this down and actually put it next to Cloverfield since that's, um, I can't remember if that's a um, prequel or a, I think it's a sequel. Technically it's supposed to be a sequel to Cloverfield. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I enjoyed that a little more than uh, Cloverfield. Um, but I need to, uh, those are two movies I need to watch again because I've only seen Cloverfield a hand just a few times and I've only watched 10 Cloverfield Lane once. Uh, well, no, I take that back. I watched it twice and then I bought the physical copy, watched it, yeah, watched it again. Uh, this is a great, this is a great one based on a true story. Serial killer, 10 uh, Rillington Lane, I mean, excuse me, Place. It's ser uh, Serial Killer Russian, I believe, if I remember. I've only watched this once, but really good one. It's from Twilight Time Edition. I don't think this movie's been released since then. Um, this was a first for me, thanks to Scream Factory. This is one I never had on DVD, and I uh, enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed this one. Again, this is also based on a true incident of a serial killer that had murdered uh, a few nurses. Um... I forget the name of the serial killer this movie is based on though uh, but the movie itself was done really well and uh, it, it gets crazy 
especially when he's naked and whatever. So, it gets pretty crazy. Charles Bonson, good stuff. Um, <laughs> I got this one mainly because of the name of the title, 12, 12, 12. Uh, that's the, the birth date of my youngest son. So I just thought that was cool to have a horror movie in my collection that went by 12, 12, 12 because of, uh, yeah, my, well, I had my, my uh, second boy. So, but the movie is okay. Um, I do like the look of the, uh, the, the demon, demon looking baby. It's, it is practical effects in this one, but it's, it's okay as in it's just unintentional laughs and whatnot. Another one from the asylum. Not bad. Um, 12 hour shift. This one was another one that was just okay. Not as good as 12, 12, 12, if that says anything, <laughs> but yeah, it was okay. Um, so another one from uh, Magnet. Another one of those cool uh, labels that I really like and cherry pick from every now and then. 12 Monkeys, classic. Great little thriller from the 90s. Good stuff, gotta have it. That's 4K. I've got my Blu-rays and 4Ks all mixed in together. I don't have the two formats uh, separated or anything. It's all just mixed in there together. 13 Slays Till Christmas, um, or, or Till Xmas, I should say. I've yet to watch this. I've had this for probably, when did this movie come out? But I should watch it this month since it is December. Um, so one of those Christmas horror movies I should watch. Because, yeah, I have not seen this yet. It looks looks to be cool, just judging, simply judging for uh, the cover. Right? This one was cool. I enjoyed this one. Cool, intense thriller, 13 Sins. This was a blind buy that I'm glad I took a chance on. Yeah, this was a great movie. Is a great movie, I should say. Anchor Bay. Uh, this one's just called 13. Uh, Seven meets paranormal activity. I've yet to watch this. Had this on the shelf for quite some time. Looks cool. I remember reading up on it and it grabbed my attention, but I just have not got around to watching that yet. 1408. Not bad. Seen it a few times. Um, not the biggest fan of 1408. It's not bad, but I got that one for pretty cheap, so I figured I'd add it into the horror and thriller collection. 14 cameras. I like this one. This is pretty cool. Um, sort of like made on demand. Blu-ray from you can get on Amazon. These fat ones, I probably should trim the cover and put them in regular size keep cases because these fat ones do. When you get enough, of, you order enough of these made on man Blu-rays, they start to take up more and more space. So I probably should trim this cover and put it in a regular Blu-ray case. I just have not. It's just one of those things I've just not gotten around to making time to do because I do have a few of these fat made on demand case editions. Um, but yeah, 14 cameras. <clears throat> I like the movie. Sequel. Um, no, this isn't a sequel. This is its own movie. Um, 15 cameras. Take a peek. Got this in not too long ago. Um, let's see. Now, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I got this in not too long ago. I've yet to watch it. Um, just looks intense, so check that out when I can. Um, what is this? 1974. Possession. The Altar. Heard good things about this one. Um, I've had this in the collection for a little while, but have not watched it. Just have not watched it yet. So, but I have heard good things. So, I think this is one of the... No, this is Cauldron. Put out by Cauldron. Um, 1BR... I guess that's an address or an apartment. It's so probably apartment number is what it looks like. Mm, thriller. I haven't watched this yet either. Released by Dark Sky Films several years back, I think. All-time classic you got to have in your collection. Mm, 
thousand leagues under the sea the original good stuff i'm finally glad to add this movie into my collection not not only because i'm a fan of it but for a while i just did not have this movie in my collection and i watched a few horror movies over the years and this is just one of those movies that would always get mentioned especially if you're watching like um it's that one movie from the 90s uh, sphere i watched that one recently and yeah it's another one of the movies that mentions this good stuff gotta have it i've yet to read the the book though i should read the book there's a remake uh 2001 maniacs robert england I dug this one. It was a good one. I've had this movie multiple times. Had it on DVD. I can't believe I had the um, yeah DVD and all that one. Uh, this is a fun zombie movie. It's another one of those I'm glad I took a chance on. Just strictly bought it because it just had cool looking cover and some of the actors in it being Rhymes. Um, yeah, 2012 Zombie Apocalypse. This one was surprising. I had a lot of fun with this movie. It just goes at a brisk pace some cool looking zombies in it so yeah not bad is this yeah asylum it's one of the better ones from asylum good stuff yeah i think that i believe that was a pre-order um yeah i've had that one for years this one i have not gotten around to watching this is just one of those i stumbled around on ebay uh it's a legit release um 21st century demon hunter season one i don't know if they ever continued this this is just season one the director's cut um i think it was one of those um like a web series sort of deal i don't know if they've ever done like a season two i never went back to check on this but it just the stories and everything seemed like it'd be a lot of fun so i need to get around to watching this um i did take i did check a trailer out and it, it, it looked kind of cool um, I got this in not too long ago. I have not watched yet another one from Magnet. Uh, 2359. Time to die. Looks pretty eerie. We'll see. Another document. Oh, I got a few documentaries in here. Here's another one. This one is 24 by 36 documentary on horror posters. Really cool. Or just post movie posters in general, I should say. Not just horror. Um, but yeah. Figured I'd go after this documentary because who isn't in the posters and stuff. So, pretty cool. Gotta love it. Gotta love documentaries. Uh, next is tw uh, 247 Fahrenheit. This one was okay. It's, if I'm being honest, it's just a one and done for me. I might feel different. I kind of want to watch it again since I've only watched, uh, since it has been a while. Um, and it does have a few tense moments, but. Uh, there's no twist ending or anything like that from what i remember just very straightforward um but it is one of those that it's kind of a one and done sort of movie um i believe i got this i think this was actually a pre-order at the time but pretty cool i mean i like the premise and stuff and i think they did a great job with acting and everything so and it's just one of those movies that all takes place on one location it's just this uh sauna yeah. uh this one was pretty cool uh the 27th club talking about the overall curse of famous people dying at the age of 27 and uh it's supposed to be like kurt cobain there yeah it's pretty good i dug it it's, it's trying to explain about the 27 all right i can't believe i'm already getting tired i shouldn't be i just started okay uh make sure i'm not skipping anything no we're good 28 days later good stuff i think this is time to get like a nice collector's edition this is one of the definitely one of my older blu-rays i have in my collection 28 days later good stuff i enjoyed that one um i enjoyed that one right from the get-go I, I remember when that first came out it has a great soundtrack too um, I, I dug the sequel, uh, 28 weeks later. I was hoping they would uh, be able to do a 28 months later. That was, they were supposed to have a part three, but I just, it just fell through, unfortunately. But I dug this one as well. This was a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm trying to remember which one I like better, if I'm being honest, because uh, the sequel really was fun. Anyway, 
Whew, this one was rough to watch. Uh, 29 needles. I've only seen it once, and that's, <laughs> that's been about it. Um, so really nice addition from uh, Unearth Films. All right, uh, TULDK. This one was uh, this one was a good watch. First for me. Uh, never had this on DVD. Um, it was on my wish list to get, but then the Blu-ray dropped, and I said, "Well, I'll just get this on um, Blu-ray." So I believe I, uh, I don't think it got a DVD in the states. I could be wrong. I think this is one of those where I had it on my like import wish list at the time. But this is uh, two roommates that don't get along, and this is like a lot of crazy, crazy drama, crazy intense fighting and stuff. Some unintentional funny moments as well. But good movie. I enjoyed it. Got to have that on the uh, shelf. All right. Getting into the threes here. Um, what is this? This is... I guess it's just, just called number three. Yeah, three. Haven't seen it. Looks like one of those like hostile type horror movies. Like like people getting tortured maybe i don't know i'm just spitballing i have no idea i've yet to watch this one though i think this is one of those like yeah horror pack exclusives that i just picked up another i just cherry picked from oh uh, speaking of uh horror films that need like a really nice collector's edition and maybe this one does maybe there's like a really nice import um this, this shoot for all i know this could be on 4k already i don't know 30 days a night it's good stuff one of the one of the better vampire movies for sure that come out um i don't know i shouldn't say recently this movie's got some years to it now um oh, 2007 has it been that long anyway definitely deserves a really nice collector's edition so i have a feeling some of these movies like 30 days a night 28 days later i have a feeling these are going to get some uh Really nice collector's editions here pretty so soon since it has been a while for those movies. We'll see. We have the sequel, which I thought was all right. No, no, it's not bad. Not on par with the first one, but I thought it was a lot of fun. I dig it. So 30 days a night, dark days. Um, I still need to get around to seeing this. I know it's going to be, I know it's going to deliver on the gore really well. Uh, 31. It's another one of those movies that gets heavily mixed reviews, but I'll check it out for myself. I know I'm extremely late to the party. I've yet to watch 31. I will eventually. Um, yeah, Three Dead Trick or Treaters. Not bad. This one was pretty good. I only watched it once, and this is released by I have a few of their releases. I don't know if they're still around anymore. It was a Canadian. Um, distributor, um, Video Nomicon. I don't think they're around anymore. I have to look into them. They were doing some really fun uh, things at the time, a couple years ago. Uh, they may still be around, um, but they caught my attention enough to like make note of them and kind of check their site every now and then. But uh, it's been a while. I haven't checked on Video Nomicon in some time. I, I want to say they're still around. But yeah, they were doing some cool things with uh, independent horror stuff and some uh, obscure, older, um, I want to say shot on video, a few of those too. I was hoping they'd be the company that, that would release like Psycho Pike and stuff since that's Canadian, but that never happened. Maybe some company can do that. Anyway, um, Three from Hell. I got this in a couple months back and have yet to watch it. I still need to see. This is another of those Rob Zombie movies I still need to catch, still need to watch. So, Three from Hell. Uh, I hear mostly, even from like the hardcore Rob Zombie fans, that this isn't, um, just really wasn't needed. Um, but I want to check it out for myself, see what I think. So, yeah, it's Three from Hell. I really should stick that in with the uh, Devil's Rejects. Uh, with those movies uh, again i have it in the number section so i guess next time i get the movie movies around i should take this one along with the um 10 cloverfield lane and put those next to their their sequels um anyway uh this one was really good um just watched this recently a couple weeks ago and uh, enjoyed it 
pretty much enjoyed it. Never even heard of it until Criterion uh, released this. Three women. Never had it on DVD, so it's the first for me to own a really nice collector's Blu-ray edition for this movie. So three women. Good stuff. Good little thriller drama movie. Um, 420 Massacre. Not bad. Pretty cool pothead slasher movie. And then we have, let's see, this is a triple feature of, again, 420 Massacre, uh, paired with Halloween Hell, which was unintentionally funny. <laughs> I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad to see Halloween Hell make it on the Blu-ray. It did have its own nice little DVD edition, which I still have, but that's in storage. And then Hazard Jack. I've not gotten around to watching Hazard Jack yet. It's another little indie uh, slasher movie. Yeah, triple feature of... Uh, Triple feature edition. Um, next, we got some uh, another more documentaries. Um, 42nd Street Forever. This is, um, I guess you could say this is volume one, really. Released by Synapse Films. Great documentary. All right, getting into some shark movies. 47 meters down. I enjoyed it. Dug that one. I have yet to watch... The sequel, though, 47 Meters Down, Uncaged. I hear this one's a lot of fun as, as well. So, But yeah, I'm a fan of the first first movie. That one I have seen. Let me scoot my stool down. Let's move it further down. All right. Okay. Um... Four ninety nine. This one was interesting. Almost shot in like a documentary style, but I'm glad I took. There's another one. I'm glad I took a chance on. So it gets pretty eerie here and there. So good stuff. Um, I think I just stumbled upon this on eBay. On, not eBay, but um, Amazon. Just, just doing some digging around. And uh, yeah, four ninety nine. Four clothes. Not bad. That little psycho thriller movie. I only watched it once. Is this another, yeah, another asylum? Um, I'm kind of in the mood to look for an asylum T-shirt if that such a thing exists. I'll wear. <laughs> kind of, I've been addicted to wearing like um, like label shirts. So I bet someone out there has made an asylum shirt. I should look for that since I have so many in my collection. Um, 4D man, good stuff, sci-fi. Classic sci-fi thriller sort of movie. Um, what year is this? Uh, 1959. I've only seen it once and it's been a while. Don't remember too much on it. Not to say that it's a bad movie. I just only watched it once and it's been a long minute. But 4D Man. All right, we've got some vinegar syndrome stuff here. These are um, ah, these are these movie trailers. Yeah, trailers. We're putting these out. Um, Got the ones mostly dealing with the, the horror and exploitation stuff. So, um, I believe they have four. Did they get up to like four volumes? I don't remember. But here's the two I have: um, the horror and exploitation, and this volume two is also the horror and exploitation. So that's what I collect, and these are the only two I grabbed. And these are good stuff. So, good stuff. This is the early uh, vinegar syndrome days here when they were putting these out. Um, jumped on those. Um, Five Women for the Killer. A uh, good uh, jolly that was completely new to me. Again, thanks to Vinegar Syndrome. So I'm glad to have this in my collection. I want all the jolly. So I try to collect as much jolly as I can. And I remember getting excited when that, when that got um, announced because that was definitely... A rare one. Um, so felt good to finally cross that off the wish list. 6.45? Uh, I have yet to watch this. Um, this is coming from Wellgo USA. Quite a few of, the, quite a few of the, their titles as well. I should look for a Wellgo USA shirt as well. Uh, anyway, 6.45. I have not seen it. It looks creepy. Oh, I do remember watching the trailer, and that's, what, that's why I just went ahead and wanted to grab a copy. Oh, man, I felt like this one could have been so much more. But I was entertained. It was okay. Um, 65. 
I just wanted more crazy dinosaur action, you know, or just more creature action. And, and uh, yeah, but it just didn't have that much. Action. But it, there are, it does have its tense moments. Um, I was entertained. I was I was entertained for the most part, but I just wanted I wanted more, um, so much more. Um, I mean, it's like giant spiders, just more something. There's just so much potential with a story like this. But um, but yeah, sixty five. Glad to have a copy. Okay, doc. Another documentary. Um, seventy eight slash fifty two. Hitchcock's. Hit, excuse me, Hitchcock's Shower Scene, the documentary on Psycho, and how it became very iconic and all that. Great documentary. Um, so, yeah, definitely one I'm happy to have in my collection. I really, if I'm being honest, this is another one I need to, I need to move this documentary, like, next to my Hitchcock stuff, so. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm fine with just having it in the numbers, so, yeah. Good documentary. All right. Um, uh, the Seven Brothers Meet Dracula. Uh, I need to watch this one. I have not watched it. I know it's going to be a lot of fun, so, yeah, this is from Screen Factory. But I have not seen this movie. And I think when this Blu-ray came out, um, I don't think I had this on DVD. I might have. Anyway, yeah, Peter Cushing's in it, Professor Van Helsing. So I need to watch this. So I definitely need to make a list on what all movies to watch, you know, um, that I've had on my shelf. But this needs to be... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to dig it. I just... Uh, I'm not watch it. This one was okay. Uh, this is another one I was wanting more for because the trailer for it seemed really promising. Seven Guardians of the Tomb. Again, it's one of those Amazon made on demand. Made on the man Blu-rays, uh, BDR. Um, I do need to make a day where, like, I take all these made on the man editions and like trim them and put them in like regular size cube cases because I'm not a fan of these generic fat um, Blu-ray cases. Anyway, um, that would take several hours. I got a lot, I got a lot of these made on the man Blu-rays. Anyway, um, yeah, I, this one was okay. I did like the crazy spider, monster spider scenes. Those were, those were cool. But that was really the main highlight for me of this entire movie. But, yeah, it was okay. All right, Seven Sins. Mm, I've not watched this yet. I think this is another one of those. Um, is this horror pack again? No, Dark Side Releasing. I have a few other editions as well. It's another company that I think does fun things and cherry pick from. But Seven Sins, have yet to see it. Do dig the cover art. The one's got a skull on it. <laughs> That's all I needed to see. A skull on the cover and my brain just turns to mush and I gotta have a copy. Oh, getting that out again, aren't I? There we go. Ah, this one was great. Uh, the Seventh Day. Now, this one you gotta have in your collection. This is a good one. I believe this was based on true events as well. Um, yeah, I believe so, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. Um, made in 2004. It's already got some years to it already. Who put this out? Olive Films. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've had that one in my collection for quite some time. I, thought, I think that was like a pre-order. Oh, uh, let's see. Eight millimeter. Oof, another one of those older Blu-rays. No, this is fairly new. This is a screen factory, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, eight millimeter. Good stuff. Another movie you have to have in your collection. Uh, one of my favorites from Nicolas Cage, for sure. And the, the creep, the guy who plays the creep in this movie, does a fantastic job. Very convincing. Um, child killer guy. Yeah. But, yeah. Pretty intense thriller. One of the better ones for sure. 8mm. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. <sighs> okay. I want my 976 Evil Part 2 on Blu-ray. That is yet to happen. Um, but here's the first one. First one is great. All-time 80s classic. You gotta have. Um, who released this? Is this? Okay. Released through 
Columbia themselves. Wow. How old is this blue right now? I don't remember. Anyway, moving on. Good stuff. Gotta have it. And then 99.9. .9. This one's from Cult Epics. Another company I enjoy. Um, so 99.9 .9, Frequency of Terror. Um, it looks interesting. I just haven't seen it yet. So it's another one I need to check out. Make time for. And then last, the numbers for now is 99 women, also known as I forget. <laughs> it's not known by that, but you know what I mean. I don't, I don't remember. 99 women, another women in prison whip movie. So I'm trying to collect all these uh, movies nowadays. There's a lot of them I just didn't have back in the early days of DVD. But um, yeah, it's a really nice three disc limited edition from Blue, uh, Blue Underground. Good stuff. So 99 women. Crazy Bonkers movie. And that's it for numbers. And then I'll go through the A's and uh, make a, do my best to make a series of this video, not these videos, and not get burnt out. So um, this might take me, could easily take over a year. It just depends on, uh, just depends, you know. Um, anyway. Uh, we'll see if this becomes a thing. Um, I guess I'll upload this video. If I upload this video, then um, that means I'll have to commit. I'll want to commit. So, All right, guys. Take it easy. Appreciate your time. Later.